Since the widespread use of radio in the early 1900s, people around the world have been using it for reasons far beyond its intended purpose, and usually illegally. But it's not always illegal interruptions that have caused alarm and shocked listeners, but mainly the use of radio stations as a way to secretly communicate with others for a variety of reasons. And you can just imagine how unnerving it would be if you were tuning through a radio and came across a station that you feel you shouldn't have that was transmitting eerie voices or strange code-like sounds. Well, here are five of some of the eeriest radio broadcasts and channels in existence, all of which have been found by accident, and many of which remain a complete mystery as to their origin and meanings. As always, sit back, hit the lights, because this is a creepy one, and enjoy the video. The Yosemite Sam Incident Just before Christmas in 2004, a signal on 3700 kHz was being picked up all over America. It was being sent every 50 seconds and consisted of a short data burst followed by some jumbled speech. It was established the transmission was going through four separate frequencies, and what's strange about it was that the speech clip appeared to be the voice of the Looney Tunes character Yosemite Sam, saying, Varmint, I'm going to blow you to smithereens. Over the Christmas period, the transmission stopped, but started again on January the 14th, 2005, on a different frequency. Take a listen. The signals attracted the attention of two licensed radio hams who were able to trace the signals to the Laguna Indian Reservation in New Mexico, and confirm the source of the transmissions as the Mobility Assessment Test and Integration Center, a military facility that develops mobile communication battlefield systems for the US Army. After the discovery, the signals abruptly ceased and have not been heard since, and any reference to the MITIC Center completely disappeared. It's funny that the location the sound was supposedly coming from was very close to Albuquerque, and that Bugs Bunny, where of course the sound clip came from, used to say, I know I should have turned left at Albuquerque. We can't be sure if this was done on purpose, but it would be an unlikely coincidence if it wasn't. Although we can be somewhat sure the Yosemite Sam broadcast came from the military, we may forever remain unaware of its intended purpose. The Squeaky Wheel this shortwave radio station first came to light in 2000 and earned the name Squeaky Wheel. The station is believed to be part of a Russian military communications network, possibly broadcasting from the S-32 transmitter located in Rostov-on-Don in Russia. The disturbing noise could be regularly picked up until 2008 when it changed to two plainer tones which carry on to this day. Take a listen. Although information on this one is sketchy, it's believed the signals are sent out to keep the frequency free, so that it can be used if needed to instruct military personnel in the event of an emergency. Although this has not been confirmed, and the fact it uses such odd sounds, many don't understand how it could be used just to keep the frequency open. The Gongs After World War II, the relationship that developed between the US and Russia is often referred to as the Cold War. During this period, there were many international tensions, including the Vietnam War and the Cuban Missile Crisis, as well as the Berlin Wall and the growth of weapons of mass destruction. But it was towards the end of the Cold War that radio hams all over the world started to pick up some bizarre broadcasts, and this next one is one of the most widely heard stations, known as the Gong Station, and it's pretty disturbing. Take a listen. It's thought they could be coded messages from government agencies, but this has never been backed up, 
And even many years later, the mysterious station is still unexplained. The Pip The Pip is thought to have close links to the squeaking wheel, and is a shortwave radio station that broadcasts by day on frequency 5448 kHz, and changes at night to 3756. The Pip has broadcast 24 hours a day since 1986, and is basically a series of beeps that occasionally get interrupted by voices in Russian. Although English speakers refer to it as the Pip, in Russia it's known as Kaplia, or the Drop. Take a listen. The purpose of the PIP is completely unknown, although there is speculation that it is used to send coded messages and instructions in the event of a military crisis. But with the extremely limited information we have on it, what's your thoughts? The Backwards Music Station Despite the name, this station does not actually play backwards music. However, what it is broadcasting is a mystery. The signal appears on several frequencies in the USA and Europe, and seems to be highly encrypted. The sounds are very high pitched with a few louder bangs mixed in, and again, its purpose and origin is unknown. Take a listen. It is possible that the station is still broadcasting, although there have been no published recordings since 2009. But what does it mean? Is it a spy communication, some sort of signaling system, or something more sinister? Since it still remains unknown, let me know your thoughts. So thus five mysterious radio broadcasts and stations, all of which are not only unsolved, but also incredibly creepy. I can't help but wonder just what do they all mean, and who is behind them? I hope you've enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.